Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. If you are new to this channel, well, you have found a place where we hang out together every Monday, Friday, and Saturday and unbox subscription boxes, share our love for all things Disney, review products, and go through our shopping hauls. If any or all of that sounds like something you would like to see more of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell before you leave here today. That way you won't miss another upload. And if you are a returning member of our community, welcome back. Thank you so much for your continued support. It is great great to see you again. Today we are going to be unboxing a houseplant shop box. This is my second houseplant shop unboxing on this channel. I will be linking my first one down below in the description box. Definitely check out that video after you check out today's. That unboxing and this unboxing feature pet friendly plants. Houseplant shop does have plant friendly options as well as just regular options. They do have a succulent option and I think an air plant option. Mainly what I'm trying to get out is houseplant shop has multiple options to fit your needs and to fit your budget. For every category they have a smaller plant and a larger plant and this is the smaller plant it is a four inch plant so I do have a link down below if you do want to find out more about houseplant shop or you would like to subscribe to this or give it as a gift subscription I mean Valentine's Day is coming up right so if you are that sort of person who likes to celebrate Valentine's Day and you know you don't want like the stereotypical like candies and chocolates and these are chocolates but you know what I mean candies and chocolates and wines and all of those things send your love with plants all right, so I did say in my last unboxing that I was going to show you what the plant looked like. So as a reminder, this is the picture of what the plant looked like whenever I first unboxed it. And here is what my plant looks like today. So in that first unboxing, I received a four inch Chinese money plant and overall, I am really thrilled with the way that it looks. It has definitely grown up not so much outward, uh, but I hope that it kind of like grows outward. I've seen that others have, but if it just grows up, that is okay. When it was replanted, like a, like the week after it was replanted, a lot of the original stems and a lot of the original leaves, it shrivel up and die and then new ones regrew. So yeah, I don't really know what to make of that. You can make of it what you will, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know. I wanted to show you that the plant was really healthy whenever it came and it did not die a few days later. And now I know that like, that depends on the grower as well, but you know, this kind of proves houseplant shop does not send a bad plants out. So time for today's unboxing. I'm a little like about it because, oh, there's dirt falling out everywhere. That's one of the reasons I have to vacuum great. So it looks like it was dropped or stepped on or something like that or like another package fell on it. When I picked it up from the mailbox it sounded like something had gotten loose so I hope it's not the plant itself. This by the way is my January box and it is it's not that it, it's just getting to me because of shipping but I don't know if they like took a break for the holidays or after the holidays or something like that but it was just sent out to me. It came within like two days of that shipping notification. Okay, the plant itself looks okay. It just looks like it got jostled a little bit, hopefully. All right, so the plants come in craft paper like this in nursery pots. I'm gonna put the plant off to the side though. So first I want to show you what comes in the box. So uh, they did send out this email. Oh, this is pretty cool, okay. So they sent out an email that the houseplant box, houseplant shop, houseplant box. So their box says one thing, their cards say another thing. So they did send out an email that the houseplant shop was partnering up with an app, um, a personalized app for the care of your plants called Greg. So they have some information about that, which is pretty cool. That is something that I do like about this. If you are a person who likes not only getting plants, but you like learning about plants as well, they have been sending out emails. So they send you out sort of like care tips for your plants, things like that. Oh, this is beautiful. Artwork that came in last month was a magnet and this is just a card. It says love, peace, plants. And then in addition to the box, they send a cute little like oversized trading card about your plant. So, um, so this month's or January's uh, pet friendly box, the four inch, received this plant. So this is the Peperomia, Peperomia Ruby Glow. This is what a healthy version of this plant should look like. I have on the back a whole bunch of information about the origin, care, etc. Um, so the origin is Central and South America. It prefers temperatures 
60 to 80 degrees. Uh, this plant prefers bright filtered indoor light. Direct sunlight burns the leaves and deserves, and it has like a sliding scale of how much water your plant would need. So this is on like the lower side. It says to allow the top 50% of the soil to dry out before watering. Um, and then it has some common issues to be on the lookout for. And this is something that whenever I first subscribed to Houseplant Shop, I didn't know that they sent, but I really do enjoy getting these. All right, so the moment of truth, let's unbox the actual plant. Okay, this one did not come in as good shape as the last one. The plant itself looks beautiful, and I don't actually think that this was Houseplant Shop's fault. I think it was the post office. Um, specifically, I think it was my area post office because they've been, boxes have been, there's been issues lately. So I think that it's that, um, but th this plant is beautiful, but I'm going to need to repot it almost immediately, like this weekend, definitely. Um, here's what the plant looks like. It is beautiful, like the plant itself came in looking gorgeous so cute they are so cute um but it has lost most of its soil because of what happened in shipping and like i can i can 100 percent pull the pieces out like there's like their roots are not even like it it yeah like see like this root so like the root is there i know whenever i repot it it's going to be perfectly fine or i hope it will but like this was not this was not secured at all, which is really strange because the last one came so beautifully intact and it looked so great. So yeah, a little disappointed, but if I can salvage the plant, that is good. This is what she looks like. She's beautiful. I shall call her George, George the pepperoni. So I will repot this, put a little more soil as soon as humanly possible. So I will keep you posted definitely, hopefully later this month, whenever I receive my February box to let you know how it thrived. Hopefully it does thrive. And I will definitely be posting plant parent pictures over on Instagram. So if you are not following me over there, head over there and follow me as well. Thank you so much for joining me as I unboxed my latest houseplant shop pet friendly plant subscription box. Let us know down below if you have any favorite plant subscription boxes or favorite subscription boxes in general that you think that I should check out. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.